guys welcome on another fishy friday today really exciting because i'm going to cook with the one and only donald skier yay <laughs> thank you donald thank you um i'm in in his hometown here in hoth hoth good hoth, pronunciation very close to dublin and it's beautiful it's a fisherman place um and they caught beautiful fish today for us what are we going to cook with it? We're going to make a seafood chowder and it is going to be delicious. But I do have to tell you Bart, we can't actually cook here, so we have to go back to my kitchen first. This is a, this is a classic one. If you come to Hoth, you have to have this. So I'm going, to, um, I'm going to chop up the onion if you want to get on with the bacon. Yep. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay. So I'm just slicing the onion very finely because I want like only a tiny bite of the onion. I don't want yeah. like too much crunch going on here. Um, and then we're going to fry off the bacon to start, I guess. Yeah, okay. So I have some butter on um, medium to high heat. Mm -hmm. So as soon as the butter is melted, I add the beautiful chunks, pieces of bacon, and you give it a few minutes. Will we, will we stick in the onions? We go for it? Yeah. There, there we, we go. Looking. Okay, here they come. Now, these are red rooster potatoes, but you know you're, what you're looking for is a waxy potato, not a floury potato, because otherwise the floury ones just kind of break up and go into mush. So perfect so for a soup, right? Perfect for a soup, and you're, you kind of want like nice little chunks. Ooh, that looks so good down there. We've got lovely flavors going on, and it smells, yeah, it smells pretty good too. And it's not difficult to cook fish, right? To no. cook seafood, it's really easy. And Look this is this. a perfect example yeah, of it, yeah. you know? Uh, and the, th the thing is, like, you, we have a, f a selection of different fish. You've got mussels, you've got, uh, you know, the smoked take, you've got the smoked haddock um, and the salmon. But you can use whatever fish you get your hands on. Like, this is a perfect recipe for but it. But it's always nice to have some fish and to have some shellfish. Too. I like it. This combination is really good. Gotta do it. Got to give uh, the, the taste too. Yeah. Right? The taste of the sea. Mm. So our potatoes are cooking off, they're going to be like 10, 15 minutes yeah. max. Yeah. And yeah. then we're going to add in our fish. So, and, and the minute you add the fish in, it cooks out really quickly. Should uh, I add the bay leaf, uh, Don? Oh, please do, please do. One or two leaves, I think two. I think go for two. We're going for extra serious flavor here. Great, okay. Cool. So we give it another 10 minutes. Yeah. Wow, Donald. Wow, this smells so good. It does smell Can good. I smell? I smell many things, but the beautiful bay leaf, which comes out of your... Out of the right. garden, right there. That's good. Um, so, good. so, time yeah, for I fish. Think time for fish. This, this, we gave it like 12 minutes. Yeah. So, the, the potatoes are almost there. But we give them another minute to get over the fish, a few minutes. So, shall I add the cream? Yeah. Good idea. Let's stir through the cream. This is where you actually have to turn down the heat so that it doesn't split on you yeah. and, and stir it as you go. And we've got a creamy chowder thing going on right now. So, I'm going to get our fish in. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Lovely. You got all that smoky taste. And then on top of this, uh, we're gonna go in with our mussels. So I think this pot is only gonna take about half like, at this amount. And we just add the lid, right? Because yeah. You, you shouldn't stir too much. So yeah, and it only takes a few minutes. It's the perfect fast food. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. It Real is. fast food. It is. I think we're there. I think we're there too, it smells good. Wow. Nice, look at that. Great. Open Beautiful. mussels. Open mussels. Creamy Great cheddar. Smell. There we go. Nice. Wow. I think Beautiful. really the blue polka dot oven Beautiful. mitt makes it. This is a new look for Bart. <laughs> <laughs> so we serve it up. Good. Look at that. I'm going to try and keep as much of the fish intact, but look at the, actually pick out the bay leaf for me, Bart. <laughs> as lovely as they are, they don't really make the dish. It is the most comforting dish. It's so tasty. We're going to finish it off with a little bit of smoked salmon, which I like to just drape over the top. A little bit of parsley over the top. And that is the ultimate seafood chair. Do you want to try some? Yeah. Yeah? Love to. Okay, go for it. I, it might need some salt and pepper, but you know, go for it. Oh no. It's good? Mm, it's really good. Yeah? Mm. No salt. No salt. Because it's the mussels and the fish stock maybe already. I've got to try some it's as well. Already, no, it's really, it's mm. awesome. And it's so quick to make. <sighs> It is ultimate. I mean, that. You can taste the sea. And this is really when you buy fresh seafood. It's, I mean, it's just adding a few more flavors. Yeah. And it's done. It's so, done. Guys, if you want to see more amazing videos, I was already a fan of Donald. Yeah, I think years ago. He wasn't that stupid. Really? But then YouTube. Yeah. Okay. You should really subscribe to Donald's channel. Right here, right there. There, yeah. somewhere over there. Yeah, it's really good. More Irish food. That's Recipes Irish food. out of your beautiful new book. Good. Okay. If you have any comments, any questions, leave them down in the box below. And see you soon back on another Fishy Friday. See you later. Bye-bye.